Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I... I can't believe those days are all over now. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But. How do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. And I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Mm. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right, back to the junk mines. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but Neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Kloenstein's okay.
People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I... I hate fake people. You're... real. Thanks. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Come on, Max. Help me out here. Find something for me to trash. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. <sighs> Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. these boy band trading cards. Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? <laughs> that was pretty funny. When we were 10. Don't you think it's time to let the boys go? Not yet. Boy toys stay. For now. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather- Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> that 
intense BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE, though. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? Magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I... Don't know how Holy to... shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer! Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Max Silver! You were such so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, be mine eyes. <laughs> what Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project! Oh, a project? Never mind then. I apologize. You mean it! All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. Be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek, but be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck, and... Uh, bye. <laughs> Dude, that was... Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Huh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting.
I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. Any luck? Nope. You? Nothing yet. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Bingo. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. There it is, the dark cavern. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. It's 
Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. What can I set on top of that crate to get me closer? Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking? Hmm. there. I just need a few more inches. I don't think I could ever handle a real-life murder investigation. Chloe's parents are so cute. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. I think that should be tall enough. There is a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. I think I can squeeze through now.
It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Keep it moving, Ask. <laughs> Crap. Guess you have to go back. Ugh, this desk's pretty heavy. This looks like it used to be a nice desk. I guess. Everything ends up in an attic eventually. Glad this thing is empty. Finally. This is a nice close-up shot. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. <laughs> Got it. Nothing can stop the mighty blue beard. Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And spiders. Are you just watching me up there, Creeper? I'm just getting some light. This cavern is even darker than I remembered. Did you conquer your fears? <sighs> you could say that. Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. No big deal. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. 
I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Walk the plank. Perfect. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot. Er, peg on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Grrrr! One amulet coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes. Ugh, damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I'll find something to hold it on. Thanks, Max. Time to stick the amulet to the telescope. Then that treasure is ours. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. I wish this was big enough to jump in. It's only September. It'll be totally dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah, a few weeks. Score! One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard! I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were gonna be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. <sighs> Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something. I'm so close. I just need to keep looking. I think I have the right angle, but where does it line up? I'm 
I'm so close. I just need to keep. Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step right. No, no. The other right. My other right or your other right? <sighs> My other right. Got it. Wait, what? Just go... That way. Oh, perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. is not what we buried. What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary. I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed, and always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> Arr. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you were so cute. Check it out. Ugh, Maxine? How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe.
You were really sweet. Oh, man. I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. All these memories. I want to look at everything. It's good to see you, old friend. It actually might be really fun to write letters to Chloe after I move. Is writing once a week too often? Will I run out of things to say? A time capsule was such a good idea. I know, right? Holy crap. It's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. Lupin! We used to read every issue from cover to cover. No peeking at my work. I wasn't. Get out of here. You sure were troublesome to find. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. These are awesome. Chloe's always been good at making up cool things to do. Ah, keep messing up my picture. There are no mistakes in art. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It's so hard to predict the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. I guess I should try talking to Chloe again about my news. I I can do that after I finish looking at everything. Today's been awesome, huh? For real. I love it when you stay over. Yeah. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah. I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. <laughs> What the heck? What tattoo am I getting? A heart with my initials? Duh. Oh. Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushiness alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess... Now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once her parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She didn't seem to want to talk about anything serious upstairs. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right?
Chloe. Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um... My family's moving to Seattle. Really soon. Hey. In three days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. I look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. I should have just told you earlier. God, I feel so stupid. Max, I said it was okay. I was trying to tell you this morning, but... But I totally distracted you with the pirate tape. Success. Seriously? I didn't want this hanging over us all day. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so... I just left it alone, you know? Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together... having fun. I'm so worried that I won't be okay without you. Hey, stop that. Of course you'll be okay. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. It's true. Cool. Let's find something fun to do. Mom? Huh? 